good evening, myself and it is August the 11th of August 2012, this year it is, and today I'm with Emma, what are we going to do today? <laughs> do we have any actual plans? Uh, discount drugstore. We still have to buy you a polo. <laughs> we haven't decided on anything yet. Anything yet. What if you got your eyes on? I stopped recording, here we go again. I'm not good at this. I've only been doing it for like one and a half years. I think I should start to improve my mechanisms, but nothing seems to be coming to avail. So once again, I'm having an argument with a counter windows activist. Um, someone updated their status asking if they should get an iPhone from eBay or not, and I suggested a Windows phone, for Windows phones are far superior to an iPhone. Um, and then someone said, oh dear god, no, don't you dare bring Windows into this. Um, and then I asked them to provide me with a reason as to why uh, WP7 isn't the um, superior operating system for phones. And it says, it is made by Microsoft and it has Metro. And here was my rebuttal to that. Ah, I see. Something is made by a company in which you've never invested the required amount to, prop to properly enjoy, thus rendering it inferior. Cool. The Nokia 900, Nokia Lumia 900, is one of the greatest phones I've ever had the honor of using, considering the processor is faster than that of an iPhone, the screen is bigger and ten times stronger than an iPhone's, and the OS is easier to navigate. Oh wait, have uh, also, have fun with your iOS flash support. Oh wait, lol. Then he says, I do not use Mac. I hate Mac people unless you need the software on it for job stuff, then that is understandable. Okay, so by now we've established the fact that he hates Windows and he hates Mac, which only leaves Linux left, which means we're in serious trouble. He then followed up that comment with, my computer came with Windows on it, stop working after, af stop working the next after I installed five programs on it and re- and Okay, let's just go- fuck me. My computer came with Windows on it, stopped working the next after I installed five programs on it, and a reinstall screwed it even more. Okay, here we go. So, basically what he's trying to say is after he installed five programs, most likely not from a reputable developer on his Windows machine, it crashed. And after he reformatted said PC, it somehow degraded the performance of that even more, which I find a bit hard to bl uh, believe. Um, and then he says... It's slow, it's clunky, and there are many other things wrong with Windows. Okay, so you're saying just because of the processor that your computer has, it means that is the software's fault, and it means that I can't... You should really invest in some suicide. Okay, I try to... I try not to associate myself with them. Uh, I'm not even going to comment on that. I do use Skype. But that's because I am waiting for the open source one to fully develop. Okay, that makes sense, except it completely doesn't. Alright, and then I said, as I said, you'll need to invest in a better machine to, in order to fully utilize the software. Don't blame the developer, blame the machine. He said, I had five Windows machines, all stuffed up cause of Windows. All different versions of Windows, all different makes of computers. Only two work now and they're stuck on a ridiculously old version of Windows because I'm too lazy to put Linux on them. Okay, so here we go. Um, so I'm pretty sure what he's trying to say is that regardless of what PC he's getting, all the PCs he's getting are crap. So let's just say um, so let's just say, I'm guessing he got, you know, an HP piece of shit, and then he got, like, a Dell piece of shit, and they were both the same, there were no different, um, results out of them, which is understandable, because it makes sense. Um, I think he's, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what his, like, ideology about this is, so I'm not going to comment on it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can understand why my frustration might be... Uh, building, and then he said, okay, here I said, 
I quoted him, I've had five Windows machines and they all stuffed up because of Windows. I said, see, there's where you're wrong. Things don't stuff up because of the operating system it's fitted with. Things stuff up because of the quality of the machines, which is upgradable on Windows machines, or the actions in which the operator performs on said machine. If you keep saying, her Windows sucks derp, you'll keep buying shitty machines with different OSs and wonder why you're not being absolved of any issues. Try spending a good... PC. <laughs> okay, I screwed up my grammar here. Try spending a good PC and get back to me. <laughs> okay, try spending m good money on a good PC and get back to me, or continue using Linux. It's up to you. Regardless, we're talking about phones, not computers. I don't know why you brought up Windows OS in the first place. And hopefully, oh, I got a notification. Let's see. He commented another thing. They were pre-installed. Well, that's good for you, isn't it? Everything works much better now. Linux is on it. Apparently, Toshiba is a reputable company. Mine doesn't work very well. Okay, fucking hell. Toshiba doesn't produce the software in which you installed, in which apparently destroyed the computer. Holy shit. Uh, mine doesn't work well with Windows, and my friends doesn't either. Well, guess what? You both brought shitty computers, didn't you? Anyway, I would like to stick to the crap computers. So you're complaining about your crap computer, and then you want to stick to your guns with being a crap computer user. Coolies. It means the user is skilled in using the hardware rather than just sitting around using stuff that works great on one version of Windows, then needing to upgrade the hardware to install the next version, which costs money. Okay, so you're basically saying by putting up with the shitty soft hardware that you're dealing with, it means that you have more skill. Most of the time, the machines stuff up due to Windows doing something to the hardware. One of them died because Windows wouldn't write any of the hard drives that were put in there. It caused massive write errors. Linux was really the only thing that works on it. Well, maybe you need to get a machine that is made for Windows. I'm not gonna shoot the car. Damn it, I hate this planet so much. Okay, so it's one o'clock in the morning. I do have to wake up at six o'clock because I work at a church tomorrow, but you know, you're low and such. Um, I forgot to vlog this. I wasn't sure if it was exactly vlog worthy or not, but considering uh, this would be a fun thing to wrap it up with, I might as well. So. Today when I was at Macca's, some guy sat next down to me and he said hey, and I'm like, yeah, whatever, that's cool, how you doing, man? And then we had a chat, um, and then we exchanged greetings and such, and then he just, uh, he announced that he was a minister for a church, and I'm like, that's cool, that's a noble profession to have, and, um... Yeah, he's like, he just starts explaining his work, I'm like, yeah, that's cool, I was like, oh, he said maybe you should come down to a sermon one day, I'm like, oh, that'd be cool, but, um, I'm a, um, I'm a camera guy at Hume Ridge Church of Christ, so my Sunday morning's usually preoccupied, um, and I guess from that he kind of deciphered that I was a Christian, which is false, so then from then on, because like, he was the nicest guy, I didn't want to break his heart, so then for 20 minutes later, I, um, I just kept saying, like, kept kind of going along with the whole Christianity thing, and then, and he's like, oh, how long have you been a Christian? And I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> and, um, he also asked me, he's like, have you, have you been saved? And this probably wasn't the answer that he was looking for, but I responded with, <laughs> by what? <laughs> um, yeah, that was definitely the worst thing I could have said in that scenario. Anyway, YOLO once again. YOLO for life. YOLO life. YOLO every week. Check out this desktop. Have you seen my desktop? It's so nice. Like, there's not shit on my desktop. Asses.